G'day everybody and welcome back for some more Icarus with a whole bunch of new talent points because we got more with the latest update. Huh? Yeah. Talent points. Yep. I should probably change my stream title and I'll do that shortly. Uh, why am I over encumbered? What am I carrying? Oh, timber. Oops. It's really annoying playing games with different inventory interaction buttons. <laughs> Straight one after the other. Uh, tends to create some problems. Yeah. Playing more Dark Tide, so I'm going to be dropping things all over the place today, I think. <laughs> what do you press Q for in Dark Tide? Switch weapon. That is a terrible switch weapon key. Because so many games use Q as drop. Yeah, but different, the different kinds of games. Dark Tide is not a survival game. Well, not, not survival in the same <laughs> sense. Yeah. Uh, just quickly updating my stream thing. Apologies about that. Alright. Uh, what do I need to do with this building? Build it. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. Trump key is the right square bracket. Yeah, I can understand that. As far away from WASD as possible. Okay, that was a bit hot to sip yet. Ow. <laughs> My miso. My miso is too hot. Uh, okay. 10 talent points? What am I going to do with them all? Wait, why isn't my... Where's my lantern at? Was I getting it refilled? Reduced wear rate of firearms. Get that. But now my shotguns are maxed out. Ah, nice. That means I'm going to need nice. to find something else to do with these seven points. Um. Did the game delete my lantern? I didn't have mine on me because I put it in the, the refilling thing. There's none in the refilling thing. Yeah, because I took mine back out again. I don't feel like Capac stolen mine. <laughs> Where's mine? It just moves the the disappearing lantern somewhere else. Yeah, but you're more likely to leave things in weird places. Yeah, but I I have no reason to ever take the lantern. Out. I keep leaving the water behind because I put it in the kitchen bench to cook things. I don't have a reason to take out the lantern except to refill it. That's valid. Um, Could put some more stuff in the animal husbandry one. tree. Where could I have possibly accidentally put it? Like, if I'm going to have accidentally put it away, I would have had to have picked it up out of the refueling thing. Uh, the lantern in the dresser on the stair is the lamp, which has a directional beam, which is kind of obnoxious because it flickers a lot. Uh, which is why I've stopped using it. Uh, it was understandably annoying to watch with that active. So 
So I, yeah, I've been avoiding using it. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to make a new one. I imagine okay. torches behave, like flashlights behave the same as the other things. At the lamp. Oh, we'll grab it for now so I have a light source. Yeah, it's this one. Ooh. Extra space in my stomach. Extra space in your stomach. Are you looking at your talents? Yep. Yeah, it'll let me have an extra food buff. So I can have four at once. Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think I might get that. That seems pretty strong. Alright. I have fully upgraded my rifle tree. I should probably respec and ditch the bows altogether. Thanks for the prime sub, Zuno. What else do I want? I don't want to put my points into. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling a bit. Could go with pack lightly for... Plus weight capacity. Maybe I want some exploration stuff. Yeah, I'm looking at adventure under exploration as well. Move speed. He's good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do this. These are the things that always just cumulatively seem to make a big difference. Reduce sprain damage. Forest, desert, and arctic master. Yeah, I'll do for now. I'll think about the other ones as I go. Yeah, respecking just has to be done up at the station, um, which is a bit of a hassle. Alright, what do those lanterns cost to make? Buy a fuel lamp. They're not made here. What's it made? Ah. Uh. Is it a biofuel lantern that you've got? Uh, lantern. Just yep. lantern. Yep. Crafted a crafting bench. Iron, rope, and glass. There is some glass. I need some glass. Glass around here? Yes. Lantern crafting. I'm not tempted to make a second one so that we can leave one always refueled in the thing, but I'm probably not going to. Let's try to look at all those reeds last time. We need to make this work. Trees up. I need... What? Why won't this refuel? Hello? Oh, it's... I've only got four sticks. I need more sticks. That's why. There we go. 
go increased move speed. We're going to go increased weight capacity. So I can carry more stuff. Yeah, I've done that too. I didn't do the move speed at night. Just because I wasn't sure I'd really need that. Uh, but did do some of the others. Oh, these are just turned off. It's Why? turned off. Why aren't these candles producing light? What is going on with this update? <laughs> Something's gone weird. Candles now use animal fat. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that makes sense. All our candles are burnt out because they require animal fat, Kamak. Oh, go, go. I can do something about that. He's lovely gonna if you could. going to need a lot more animal fat. Yep. But again, animal fat's not something we use a lot of, is it? And it doesn't go bad, so it's probably a good thing to convert the other stuff into. Uh, I hope this stuff lasts a while, because it's only stacks of ten. Uh, lasts for five and a half hours. Uh, that seems alright. What are the odds Capac will manage to finish his power line to the water wheels? Well, now that he's been reminded about it, better than they were before. Today, slim. Where are there more candles? Downstairs. Top of the fridge. Oh wow, they don't produ produce as much light anymore either. We're gonna need a wall torch. Luckily, I picked one up from you before. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Ish. I think we still need more of them. Right, I need to do some more cooking. Put the put the wood back. Let's go back up there and have some more thinking about what I'm doing with this space. Uh, unless you want to sleep, Capac. Uh, yeah, I could sleep. Cool. Good job remembering the fire. Okay, I need. Strawberries and watermelons. That's what I want to do. Before I go up there again, I want to see if I've got enough... Ah, yes I do. Squash and soybeans. So, I thought before I messed around with the inside area, I'd build that popped out wall bit. So that this isn't just a big blank facade. Big, blank, and boring. Um. 
Alright, now... Breaks it up pretty well. Then I was going to see if these will survive if I use this flooring. They should do, yeah. Because they are covered, so it should be fine. I mean, fuel. Put one of these down here. Then I can get rid of this in here. Oh, got rid of something I didn't mean to. Get back to cooking. Let's go back, get back to cooking. You're the cook. Who needs to get back to cooking? Good. Shouldn't think. The other one. Yeah, I'm over with this. I feel like this is creating a more interesting space in here because we got the mixed levels and stuff going on. No, all the walls are correct. They yeah. are all correct. My, my audio should be oh, no, it's fine. Not. You're correct. This one is wrong. You can hear me all right, right? I can, yes. I don't have your chat up, though. I should probably fix that. Yeah, um, I don't know. It looks like on OBS, it looks like my audio is about the same as your audio. Huh. Strange. Alright, so now, what I need now... What should I do out in this bit? I think I should probably put down some interior floor pieces on these ones. Because then I can put, maybe able to fit some benches or something, or other bits and pieces in there to make it look a bit nicer. What can I put there? I might attempted to put one of these in, but it'll look funny from the other side. About that one. Not sure. Wait for these to cook and then I'll go do more power lines. Okay. I am going to make some more stuff for the internals up here. Should I unlock any new technologies? Do that. Hey there, Got all the upgrades. Good night there, Wolf. Uh, I'm going to unlock the water stuff so I can do that. Seems like an idea. Water pump, pipe tool. Ow! Chicken wheel. Go away.
really wish we wouldn't get wolves inside our walls. I thought we'd have placed enough stuff up there now that we would have messed with their spawn locations, but apparently not. Yeah, well, that works. Neither. Food has come back and got for me. Open. Get the iron bacon crop pie. Recipe. Crispy bacon, that'll do. I need to make a whole lot of these pillars. Oh, and uh... we are out of stone. Yes, come back. Somebody told me something about foundations that they said you should look at next time we play Icarus. Gonna have to be more specific. <laughs> Frame. Oh, you told him that they have deploy options, an angle, and a big pillar. Oh, yeah. I might be able to make use of a big pillar. Have you made a deep mining ore scanner yet? Uh, I have not made the scanner, but I have unlocked it. Uh, I might make one of those. Do we really need it? If we're building a set of power lines everywhere that we can attach drills to to get stuff, then yeah. I suppose probably. means you'll find them all. I did see that the mission board has to be outside now, yes. Which is sad because now my little hut doesn't need to be there anymore. My little hut! Three second boards. Knowing that share was meant to be shower laws, I'm still confused. Of steel. Miso has become just a pile of sludge at the bottom of my cup. Uh, you do need to mix it a bit. I was, but it's hard when I forgot to bring a spoon with me. Stick your finger in it. But then I'll get miso fingers all over my mouse and or keyboard. Seems undesirable. That'll be fine. Uh, let's see. You know what I've been half tempted to do? Take this character back up to the station, respec them to be like a resource collecting fiend, and then respec my other character to be the combat one. See if I can speed it up a bit, but then there's the hassle of having to boot you from the game so that I can keep going back to the station and redropping. Wait, why did those? Spoiled plants just drop on the floor. Is your inventory full? In the container. No. Uh, 
any, but I'm pouring it up. Have you noticed that sometimes the spoiled meat just pops out of your suit? I thought the conditions were that your inventory was full, but sometimes I feel like it happens even when your inventory is not full. Don't know. Honestly, uh, while I'm aware there is a dedicated server for this, my uh, my motivation for learning how to set it up and setting it up uh, is extremely limited. Uh, when it works just fine as a local hosted game for 99% of the things we want to do. Usually if it's on your hotbar it will. Huh. Oh, right. Yeah, because it's popped out of my hands when I've had, like, meat on my hotbar for gaining hit points back. Yeah, I see. That's why the meat's popped out everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Arguably, Capac could uh, go up and respec and get some of his mount related points back. Hey, I'm, I'm happy with the ones that I already have. I just don't want to invest anymore in that tree. There's nothing that seems all that useful. Um, yeah, and we keep forgetting to even use the mounts anyway. There's a mission pod over here, but I don't see that we have a mission. We have a mission for crafting tools. Oh, right. That mission. Yep. One that you're ignoring to spite me. A little bit, yeah. I don't think the floating voxels cause the same damage to animals here as they do to ships and space engineers. So I think you're probably okay at riding your animal through a floating voxel. <laughs> I think that'll be fine. Almost got 2,000 stone. That'll last me a little while. I figured I'd try and do this in a single go now that I'm over here. Well, I'm over here anyway. I don't get eaten while encumbered on my way back. Oh, speaking of eaten, um, I could use a prediction. No, no, don't, no. Stupid Twitch auto playing stuff on the front page when I try and go to it so I can do the predictions. Okay, start prediction. Let's see if it works since the polls didn't work the other day. Hey, Nomus and Demlin, thanks for the subs. So I, I mentioned to Kapak that there's a, a lasso that needs to be made. There were 250,000 points spent yesterday. So I'll have to find some time for that coming. Maniac up. has so many points. Uh oh. Uh, I'm about to die, Kamek. What? Oh, no, I'm not. Thankfully, my rifle, even at point blank range, was able to kill the bat. 
I was in, I'm heavily, heavily encumbered, and a bear attacked me. It was a surprise bear. Switching their predictions to me, yeah. Well, Capac's gonna be out and about making posts and cabling things. Yep, this is true. Oh, inventory's full. Um. Fur. Don't need fur. Yeah. Two and a half thousand stone. Solid start. Rifle. Let's roll. So how did that prediction amount work out? Ooh. About the same number of people, but a lot more points put down on me versus you, Kapak. Uh. 16 people on me, 15 people on you, but 63,000 points on me and just 39,000 on you. It's true, there was a bear in my face midway through the prediction. But I didn't die. Sounds like hacks. Uh, is my marker still in the right place? TFE and told me that apparently like... he's got an, almost enough points for the lasso thing too, Kamak. Of course he does. <laughs> Which seems a bit silly from his position. We'll just get him to be in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the talent for oh. insta-breaking rocks sometimes would be really handy. But I think it's... I should have a look. It might be under... It might be under a lot of talents or it might not. I always assumed it was under a lot. I should have a look. If you have a look at the channel, channel redemption things on both mine and Capax channels, you can see what the lasso thing is. Oh, Something don't we can't tell people together. it's there, they'll all want it. Well, we just gotta give them incentives to spend their points on stuff that's fun in the meantime. Like when Shadow and I played Plate Up yesterday. Oh no! Fell in a crevice. And you know, after a few people have gotten it, we might have to increase the price. Yep, Saif, you slept in and misplayed up. Um, right. Those in there, make a bunch of these. 79 seems excessive, but I think it'll, I'll use them all. Thanks, Saif. <sighs> Appreciate it. Well, at least I was warm, unlike your freezing cold shed. It's true. My shed was freezing cold. Warmed up now, though. It's like 18 degrees outside. Now that summer's on the way. <laughs> uh, It's like one and a bit days till winter. <coughs> Which I guess means summer is on its way, but not usually where, the way you say it. Um, right. What am I doing other than needing these beams? What do I need from this? What? Ah. Needing beams? Yeah, I need beams. 
I get to make some bread out of them. Um, sure. Why not? <laughs> Thanks, Syph, for gifting TFE a sub. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. You gotta look after your fellow Tazzy, I guess. Alright, let's see what I can do here. I do want these in the corners. <coughs> I think I also want to put the horizontal ones down. This will look a bit neater, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks better. Alright, come back. Yeah. If at some point you feel inspired to, we can talk through some of the interior design up here and see if you want to contribute to it at all. Uh, have you looked at the new... It's like a new like style of furniture you can make or something? Yeah, is that in this or is that in the Galileo update? I thought it was already in. Carved wood furniture. Yes, it is. I have unlocked it now. Oh, no. Oh, my food buffs just ran out. It's inconvenient in the middle of a storm. this yeah that looks better now right, so I need to kind of think about what I want like what I want to put where inside this building I want this area to feel like an entryway so I want to just put maybe I could maybe put a table down the middle or something some chairs. Um, what's going to do with it? I'm trying to think how I want to decorate this space because I think if I start filling it out with stuff, it'll help me design the rest of the space a lot more easily. second one at least. Love the stars. Yeah, I get the impression that aluminium is in was intended as kind of a a material for using when you needed to carry the whole structure with you. So it was lightweight and you could bring something bigger with you effectively, rather than stone which takes quite a bit of your carry capacity away. And 
doors. Doors to a reinforced door. I think I want those. We've got carved wood cabinets, wardrobes, nightstands. Okay. Dresses, narrow wardrobe. Uh, in this cave here, we've got an iron deposit. Oh yeah, that's alright. It is and it isn't. Why is it and why isn't it? Isn't? Well, it is because it is along the path of my power line. It isn't because I have to run a power line down into this cave. <laughs> now there's a jaguar. Can't get a headshot on it because it's sleeping with its head in a rock. I have a jaguar. And it just took four point blank shotgun shells somehow. <laughs> yes, it uh, helps if you don't miss. I didn't miss. Sure, like, sure. The barrel of my shotgun was literally right up against the Jaguar. Yeah, so you probably missed the head and hit the body. Well, yes, its head was in a rock. At least for the first shot. The other times it was facing me. Let's go make some windows. Yeah, Volkwarden. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking something like that, Edric. That the it would have clipped through the animal's head, the end of the rifle, end of the shotgun. That's why Capac was unable to shoot. Well, then it should have been more effective. It's like it swallowed the the barrel of the shotgun and you're shooting it from the inside out. Exactly. <laughs> its skin is too tough to penetrate from the outside. Ah, huh. uh, yes, that old trope. Hello? Go away, okay. mowers. I should probably bring this up to the thing too. Let's bring all the bits. I'm going to start moving some of the production things up to the new castle. Oh, nice, Edric. That's good to know. The There's a mod in RimWorld Capac called Some Things Float. Uh, so you can, like, if you start your map on a river, you can put corpses in it and they'll slowly float away down the river. Okay. Um, but there was a function in it that basically lets Flotsam appear. So I felt like that was probably going to be quite unbalanced, but apparently you can turn that function off. No, that's a, that sounds pretty cool though. Uh it's rare that those things end up being even remotely balanced with vanilla. So I figured it was better just to not have it. And apparently, the mod author agreed that some uh, expected that some people would feel the same. Yeah, I feel like you could do so because, like, it would have to be stuff that could float. Yeah, it's like putting nets. You basically just put nets in and you passively get items. Yeah, like uh, like raft. Yes. I don't yeah, know. As like... a mechanic, it just 
feels wrong to me in RimWorld. I think using something like that to get a few extra bits of wood or something wouldn't be too outrageous. Not outrageous, just doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel like it suits it to me. It's because you want everything in RimWorld to be trying to kill you. It's RimWorld, of course. How RimWorld's supposed to be. Ow. Okay. I swear that the the lantern the, the sound of the like the fire of the lantern is playing when it's off and stops when I turn the lantern on. It's a bit odd. Quite odd. Sometimes in RimWorld you have to figure out which mod is causing you to find a deep ore vein of Argotech Bionics. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there are there are some weird things people put in their mods in RimWorld. Like even beyond the RimWorld level weird that happens with them anyway. Right, shelter. <gasps> Poop. Um, what if I put it over here? Ah, now you're happy. All right. Now that I've got that up here, I can actually save a bit of time from having to run back and forth. But I will probably starve more often. So what I've been thinking about with this building was I was going to end this roof at this point here, come down to a wall that then joins, that then has a nice flat roofed area over this sec second part, where I can then build a greenhouse out of glass once we have the ability to, glue to build with proper glass, because uh, we need the hardened stuff which needs piping, uh, which will be after Kapak finishes his uh, Odyssey of Cable. As I imagine that's how it feels to him right now. Uh, it is a bit. Make some walls. I think it's the cable guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he is. Cable guy. I haven't watched that movie in a while. I should watch it again. I'm not sure I've ever watched it in full. Certainly haven't watched it any time recently enough to remember anything about it. Really. Like, at all. So my hope, Capac, was to make a rooftop garden area for you as well as having a larger downstairs garden. Oh, uh, okay. So you'd have a bit of a greenhouse area as well as a, a downstairs one.
Such an expensive build, this one. No, uh, at least it's not concrete. I'm not gonna worry about doing the poles through the cave. I'm just gonna do a power line. Are you gonna make sure you stick to poles for all the overworld stuff, uh, for want of a better term? Yep. Cool. Spawn worms. I put some. Oh, I can put maybe diagonal timbers on there, and that could look good. And that could be something I could do on the outside wall to break it up too. Hmm. Could work, maybe. Rapid fire compound bow. Yeah, Sif, that does sound. Intriguing. Uh, but it's also really tempting to just, now that we've got a rifle, for me to go back to the station, respec, ditch all of my bow points, and instead put them into resource collection so I just stick with rifles and resource collection. So I don't have any bow talent points at all anymore. It's quite tempting. Oh, I can't place that there. Oh. Well, there goes my plan. Right. What I like about bows is they're quiet. What I like about rifles is that they make Kapak go, ah, I'm hearing gunshots in the distance. I think the iron ore deposit is connected to the power grid. And you just need to make yourself a... Oh wait, you need me to build the thing, don't you? So I presume you haven't unlocked that recipe yet. Don't know if I've done the drill yet. <clears throat> At the rate we're going, we will have most of them. For both of us. Oh yeah, ah. let's let's try. Let's see if it'll let me place the wall if I do the diagonals first. Uh what? You dead? No, but No I won't. Um what? Have you seen a bear break rock before? Um no. So I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's just epic! Took, if took that out a couple of chunks of rock trying to get into this cave after me. That is epic! If that is a thing now. That's so cool. Because then the crocs have a way of getting you when you get on the top of a rock too. Uh, I don't know, and I don't know if I want to test it. I really like that idea. I think that's a great concept. Um, so apparently it's negative 23 degrees outside. Oh, it might just be this cave. It's a wee bit chilly. No, it seems like it's that cold out here too. <laughs> might just wait out this storm. It's real dark. I need to go under. 
Let's have a look at this clip of Capex. Showing it in 1080p. Let's see if it'll let me place the wall if I do. Oh, the, it totally uh, did! Diagonals first. Uh, it totally did! Yeah. There was a little bit that disappeared. Oh! Spicy! I am definitely a fan. Like, that genuinely, because it removes one of the cheese options. In a way that's, I think, fun. Because it still gives you time, so it's not like an insta-defeat-your-cheese sort of thing. But it's... It does mean that you can't rely on that anymore. So the question is... When are they going to give us the ability to train the bears to mine for us? <laughs> no, not Ark. Do our own resource collection here. I've got a question. Yes? Are we going to wipe out this world's forests first or are the, the storms? Uh, it'll be us because the storms don't happen when we're not there. Still think the storms have a fighting chance. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, it's not clear if the bear is mining the rock, but if the bear isn't mining the rock and the Icarus devs are anywhere in the chat, please do that. Also make crocodiles do it. Also make crocodiles faster than an encumbered person and the maybe make them the same I think they're the same speed as a walking person. But I just feel like crocs should be able to chase you a little bit. Uh I'm hearing gunfire, Capac. You okay? Capac? Uh maybe. What are you no. fighting? Crocodiles. Mountain crocodiles. Ah! Run away! Well, apparently crocodiles are still dangerous to Capac. Ah, Jaguar! Ah, another Jaguar! Open the gate! Good luck. Fine, don't open the gate. Just leave me to die. I'm miles from there. What? I thought you were still building. I am building. I'm in the building. Wow. I thought you were yelling at yourself. I must open the gate quickly. No. Are you dead? I'm alive. No thanks to you. Uh, I'm literally in the middle of a building miles away from where you're at with the way that I have to travel to get there. You can also see where I am on a map. Oh, yeah. But... <sighs> you need to be clearer. Splitzy, clearer. I need you to come help. I, I, am, I am being eaten by crocodiles. It's not clear enough. Yeah, it was not clear enough. You're absolutely right. I'm sorry, next time I get attacked by crocodiles, <laughs> I'll sit down and I will pen a carefully worded letter. Perfect. So you should. No, I, I'm sorry, I genuinely didn't realise you were needing my help. In mortal peril! I knew you were in mortal peril, but I was like, I don't see how I can help you, you're actually quite far away. Surprised those aren't falling down. Is 
Same kind of letter one sends to a councilman. Oh, you mean one written by ChatGPT? Isn't that what people are doing with it? When they're not being numpties and trying to use it as a replacement for a search engine? It's a replacement for a search engine? It is not. Alright. Shall I move this up to the other spot? Probably should. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have the recipe for that, that drill. Oh, okay. Uh, can you, if you can assemble the parts, then I can put it together for you. For us. Uh, uh, electric deep mining drill. Aluminums. Yeah, shotgun versus a croc is not a great combo because they've got armored hide, so the the little bits of shot don't tend to do much damage. Much better to use a rifle. Something with penetration. I don't have a rifle. I know. Uh, electronics. Uh, incognito, there was no way I had any line of sight to Capac to shoot down there. We have not set this castle up to have ranged, ranged shooting downward. Which I guess you could argue is my fault. But I was building this for style, not for defense. Now the walls have too high a wall on this side. You can't actually shoot over it. <laughs> you can't see down. We're not smelting anything. Huh? Oh. Ran out of smelter? To add more details. I really want some lights up here. That's what I need to do. Uh, some floors. Still not sure about how I about the stairway to get up to this level. We should have all the composites we need for a while. Um, you say that, but composite armor. I'm making seventy-seven. Don't we need like about that per suit? I don't know. That's that's your project. Forgot that this was a veranda. I'm just going to get the recipe for this so it's easy to see what I need. Fair enough. We do have, like, we, we keep getting points even after we hit level 50. So you can unlock every single recipe. Alright, where do I want to put these stairs? I'm still not happy with them.
maybe get rid of that. Okay, got enough titanium. Need some carbon fibers. Yeah, this could work. So what I'm thinking is, for those watching my stream, um, we have our entry area and we can put a bunch of furniture around in here. Uh, this will be predominantly for show, not for function. Then through behind this wall into this area will be all of our production area, storage, etc. When you go up here, you probably have more stuff just for show, I guess. I don't know. Then up here, at this end, will be one person's bedroom. And up this end will be another person's bedroom. Slash access way. Oh, no way, that doesn't work. Dang it. Uh, hmm. I'll have to think about that one a bit more. Because we need to have a way out onto the terrace where we can have the greenhouse. And, oh, right, right. The kitchen should probably just be up here. Kitchen, and then we could maybe have a lofted bedroom at each end. Um, if preferably the kitchen would have uh, access to the the farm we're going to put up there. Yeah, I was planning on having the kitchen near to the greenhouse. Carbon paste. Um, did you have a specific mortar and pestle you were using for, like, carbon paste and that kind of stuff? No, Or were you no. just using the common no. ones? Yeah, I've been... I've been not good at deciding which I'm going... which thing I'm going to use for what stuff. I've just been yeah, kind of using... Resin and epoxy. Uh, I need to go get some more nails. I didn't leave any in here, did I? No. Yeah, unfortunately, no big sliding doors that we can do to make a big <laughs> alfresco dining area that joins the inside to the outside. As the manufacturers of such things like to talk about. The aluminums. Some silica. What was I doing? Iron nails. Yoink. I need to make a bunch of these, which means I need more timber, and I don't have more timber. Alright. Come back, are you near enough to be able to sleep easily? Yeah. Cool. I'm coming down. I, maybe we can go to bed because I've got to go get some more timber. Was that a buffalo statue? Yes, it was. I'd like to get a second one. But there are things we need to do in order to get one that I haven't gotten around to yet. Deactivate. Time to get some wood. I don't like... Actually, I would take a buffalo if I was just doing some resource collection off-stream. I just get a bit... When I'm streaming, I don't know, part of me just gets bored with doing the same activity for too long. It's 
So I tend to prefer to just keep changing up what I'm actually doing. Carbon paste into carbon fiber. Thanks. Gotta cook it. Die tree. So hoping that was going to stay upright and I'd be able to just chop it as it fell down. Give me them fibers. I feel like I need to start with the production area to get my sense of scale right with this build. But I kind of just want to build some pretty things. Did you accidentally try and power up the uh, the concrete furnace? Oh. Just based on what's being written in, in your chat. There we go. For making the carbon fibers. Okay, got a new drill. Load some of this stuff that's weighing me down. You wonder how I would be in Timberborn. I think I own Timberborn. I haven't played it yet though. I haven't had the time. It seems like a game that I could have some fun with. Uh, like... Frostpunk as well. It's a game I've owned for ages and never got around to playing. So do you like me a colony sim? If my time in RimWorld didn't already highlight that. Uh, true TFE, that does describe like 70% of the games I own. So, I will say, um, recent times, although I'm not getting through the games as quickly as new ones are being added, thanks to, like, the way I've been doing stuff here on Twitch, I've been playing a lot more variety than I have for some time, which has been really nice. And also, weirdly, because of the sponsored streams and sponsored videos and stuff, it gives me a, an extra push to try something new. Rather than falling back on Old Faithful. Which has been especially nice um, once I reached that point of full burnout on Seven Days to Die. Because it was my... It had been my go-to for ages. Uh-oh. How many games do I own? Three... I don't know, my Steam library's like 300 or something. 350? I don't know. More than I should, and I blame... A, a, a lot can be blamed on early Steam sales. That'll do for now. Let's head back. 
395 Steam games, thanks TFE. Thanks for rubbing it in. 395, and I reckon I've probably played... Oh, would I have even played 100 of them? Maybe. I need to get two more. Yeah, TFE. Duh. Hi, Bridge Komodo. That's not aggroing to me. Fine. Yeah, and Humble Bundle was also a reason why I ended up with a bunch of games that I didn't want amongst games that I did. Ow. Oh no, I'm stuck. went poorly. Ooh, that was close. safety, I'm going to have a quick look at my Steam library. I want to see how many I've actually, I think I've played of, of the 395 games I own. Okay, fair. Crocs are probably dead are deadly anytime you're encumbered, but as soon as you're not encumbered, they're really not a threat. Uh, Steam library. Here we go. How many in a row? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I reckon if I played an hour or more, it counts. 17, 18, 19. Uh, what do we go for half an hour or more? 20? 21? Almost 22 times 9, whatever that is. It's so much epoxy. So 198 of my 395 games I have played. That's actually better than I thought. It's a much better ratio than I thought. All things considered. Like, especially as, you know, it's not unheard of for some of those games to be ones I got for free and then didn't end up getting around to playing. I got the thingamajig? I do. I mean, if we're looking at my library, if we go to even stuff just... Ow. I have a lot of games that are even just over 100 hours. I mean, even Plate Up I've played for 126. <laughs> Two out of my three top played games I no longer play anymore. Hey, McDonald's. What the? What's, okay. What the? The wolf I just shot just vanished before my eyes. Yeah. Odd. Oh, there's a few stacks of copper in the copper drill here. Cool.
Okay. All right. Needed that or something, and I can't remember what now. Also, why didn't I, did I order up some flooring? Did I not? I'm confused. I don't know. So I've played close to two-thirds of the games that I've ever bought or been given or gotten for free on Steam. It's not bad. Could be worse. I honestly thought it was going to be more more around a third rather than two-thirds. I think Capac's probably better than better overall than I am on that front. I don't know. I got a lot of nonsense on my Steam account. You do have a lot of nonsense, but you've played a lot of your nonsense. It seems like. They get up there last time. Yeah, I'm. Well, there's a part of a small part of me that's sad about um, the way things have gone between me as a player and Seven Days to Die. I'm happy that I've finally reached that certainty of that point now, where I'm not even contemplating going back. Uh, it feels good to move on. Uh, I think it's for good. I don't think I'm ever going back to Seven Days to Die. I mean, some massive rework mod might attract me back, but other than that, nah. I'm done. I just get really frustrated when I play it now, so it's not fun for anyone. The electric mining drill is now on the iron deposit, but there's not enough power to run it. Uh, we need more generators. Like, I reckon I've reached the point with... Um, with seven days that I'd, I'd rather give Ark another go. Really? Is that really to me or really to something else? I just went to leave the cave. And you got cave lung? No, there's a bear <laughs> sleeping <laughs> just outside the exit of the cave. Uh, I might take away that. A ridiculously tough bear. Yeah, even more talent points. Oh yeah, what level are you at now? How are you still getting talent points? Uh, I just leveled up to 34. All right. Let's see. Yeah, my Eve addiction. A reduced encumbrance penalty. That Why was not? the thing. That was quite the thing for me. See, Eve, Eve is a very different is in a very different position for me than Seven Days to Die because Eve, I would probably play again if I weren't so worried what it would do to me. 
Also, I don't. I just don't think I'd enjoy that style of gameplay anymore. Um, the younger me was much more easily hooked on such things. Now I'm not as interested. Why do I want this to go? I'm not sure. Let's start, finish covering this up. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you okay there? <laughs> oh, not really. Uh, that was something. It's just chopping a one of these wooden posts that I put in the wrong place. And then I just got pecked in the face by a stupid <laughs> mower. <laughs> Cursed mower! That's not where I want to be. It's time to continue the power line. Put a wall in here to support to give that some visual support. I'm just deciding whether I really do want to cut it off, cut off this outside courtyard bit at that point. I think I do. Because otherwise, I'm just squaring it off straight against there, and I think only one block back looks accidental. This looks deliberate. So if I carry it out to the end of the building, it just gives me a straight wall, whereas this gives me some interest. No, your outpost over here is still standing. Yeah. Yep. this is being supported. This is counting as support. Cool. Um, yeah, come back. When you come back, you've got to come up here and have a look at what I've done. Largely because okay. it's a fair bit. and I were about we had Portal 2 co-op I think in our list for our last ever stream as housemates Super Saturday stream uh, but no one picked it so we played other games silica deposit do we need a second silica deposit probably not no I mean at least not at this stage Oh, that's a bear. Yeah, Tommaso, I missed the trivia nights too. That was fun. It's a difficult thing to fit in at the moment. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully it's the sort of thing we can return to um, if at some point I feel like I'm uh, I guess it's 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 hard to predict with um, you know new dadhood side of things.
It's not the realization that most of the games I've regularly played over the last several years have been ones that Splitzy introduced me to. Hey, Scythe, I think you know how that feels. If you're still there. PvP in EVE was an interesting thing for me because I never actively engaged with it, but I liked knowing it was a thing that was there. It added a lot of... Um, to me, it, it added a lot of interest to the to the game world. And so I really liked knowing it could be a thing, but I also did everything I possibly could to avoid it. Alt tab to reply to Splitsy and get attacked by a bear. See, Scythe? This is this is how things work. Alright, what did you want to show me? Uh, where are you? Meet me at the buffalo. The buffalo statue. D D where, buffalo where are you going? Statue. Up here. You look somewhat menacing, you know, unnecessarily having your gun out. Okay, get my spear out instead. Yo. Sure. So here we go. We have our entryway, where we can put a some seats around the place, put some little decorative bits in. Uh, down that end will be the production area. I'm going to put some, put a wall up to separate the two halves of the building. And down there will be the, the power dungeon. Really? Then, if you come upstairs... This is now enclosed. We've got our veranda along the front. That connects to the outdoor area out here. Which is where the greenhouse will be put. Let's see. What do you think? Yeah. It's coming along. I think I may actually, even though I didn't want to, I think I may continue this all the way along to the mountain there so that there's more room for the greenhouse and still having a nice big outdoor space. But it certainly gives us views. Yep. But this doom crevice over here. Uh, I'll put a railing up over there. Unless you, unless it ends up being possibly usable as like water catchment, I could possibly put in one more row of flooring in, and then we could put the water catchment back here. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's hidden but still usable. Although we're probably going to have pipes for irrigation. So. Actually, if. Hmm. Rather than continue at this level, if you had some, like, stairs. Why did I just drop that? Do you have meat on your hotbar? Oh, yeah, it must have been. That's what I've hotbar. learned today. Um, yeah, if you have, like, some stairs going down here that drop down to, like, a lower level and fill that in with, like, a lower level area. Um, I guess I could. Are you thinking still for the water collectors? Just, just whatever, just to mix it up a bit. So my plan with these railings was to put regular railings in between the stone bits at the end, so that we could see out a bit better for the big view. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then eventually, I will. I think I will build another entry at this. Uh, western end. Because I think we kind of need it. It's a bit of annoy a bit annoying having to go all the way around. 
Yeah, that's true. Because we're still going to have to walk to the other end of the building to get inside anyway. But I'm really chuffed that this whole thing isn't falling down. Can you... Do you have any ideas about this large space up here and how we might use it for bedrooms? Or do you think this... Sh or do you think this next layer down should be our bedroom area? And this is like a grand dining and kitchen room. Yeah, we, we could set this up like like having have a kitchen at one end and then have the rest of it be like a long haul kind of setup. Yeah. What I was thinking is the kitchen could be down this end. I I figured that I know from a practicality perspective you put it down the other end, but from a usable space thing, you'd put the tables down here. So that it's kind of that indoor outdoor dining area sort of thing. Oh, uh, well, okay. Well, maybe instead of doing, maybe we have the kitchen around here. Oh, have like a side entry to the level below. And put the kitchen uh, down below, inside. Well, we could have an entry to it here, but have it, yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Alright, I'll play with that. Let's see how that works. That'll be interesting. Different. I need to go hunt. I need more leather. I need food. It's a sky bridge. Oh dear. Well, hmm. I mean, once we've moved the accommodations out of the, uh, the guardhouse here, we could potentially turn the top part of it into more of a tower and have a bridge connecting across to the to the walkway up the top here. Yeah, we... I, th I think we should totally rework that building when we uh, move out of it. And so I, I really like that idea. Yeah, I'm not quite grown yet. Alright, time for some creatures that are made of leather to die. Not a crocodile. They're just annoying to have to kill. <laughs> Buffalo, that'll work. Go away, crocodile. Yep, hunting mission for leather. Seeing this massive dispensive structure and wondering, are dinosaurs going to be added to Icarus and Splitsy has some inside knowledge? <laughs> uh, I mean... Dinosaurs are already in Icarus, technically. He is. He is? The mower. Yeah. They're both equally dinosaurish. Yeah, but one of them's extinct and the other one isn't. He is still very much alive. Although they might be threatened, I'm not sure. Somehow. Yeah, it is indeed a somehow with them.
Uh, hello? Creatures to kill? Oh, I should have gone where the goats are. Oh, wait. Can we get through to a desert relatively quickly? We can, can't we? Desert is... Oh, no, then I'll have to deal with the stupid scorpions. Desert used to be the best place to hunt. You should go where I am. Some kind of creature's bound to show up when I'm trying to avoid them at all costs. <laughs> I mean, I probably should have eaten before I walked off. Might eat these carrots. Need to re scout this. That I found because my marker disappeared from last time. I also probably don't want to go through the cave when my lantern is out of fuel. Delightful. Time for us to get electrocuted. Here it is. What's this one? Gold. Definitely want that. I think I'm going to have to go down here and then through this canyon. Tap an enzyme geyser and you'll get leather and enzyme for the statues. Why is that? Oh, does the tap actually... Um, does the tap annoy the animals? leather do I have? 160 something. It's okay. Let's start. Trying to hunt in this weather is annoying. Can't really see. Alright, so what... How do I, um... How do I get the tap thing? I think that's a tier 4 tech, isn't it? Vapor condenser. Can be placed on enzyme geysers across the Icarus to condense vapor into exotics or condensed enzymes. Alright, let's make one of them. This could be fun. And yes, I did totally just Bambi that fawn. That's true. Oh, hi there, Jagra. You've got more fur than leather. Still gonna take it, though. I'm tempted to take this structure, but then I'm also like, it's been there so long, I kind of want to leave it. Oh, poop. I do like that we've uh, got multiples of these random huts around the place that we come across now because of the missions we did to collect them. Yeah, they make the place feel a bit more lived in. Yeah, they do. Cannot see anything right now. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess out there. 
Yeah, getting exposure doesn't help either. Really hope I don't die to this storm. Or to some random bear or a wolf that attacks me during the storm. is so low. What are you trying to get at the moment? Uh, leather. What the? Really? Uh, I might actually die to this storm. This is going to be very close. How close to home are you? Uh, I'm out at the power line. I just down. I just got downed by the storm. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> where are you? Oh, you're not very far away. Oh, guess that's the prediction done. Yep. That is indeed the prediction done. I just keep taking silly risks. I guess. I wish I could rotate the camera in spectator mode. Yeah. I'm just beside that rock. Animals around? I don't think so. Oof. <laughs> Where'd my lantern go? pretty late. I'm probably going to head back. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think... I think there's a few games out there that could use some improvements to their spectator system. We have been a bit spoiled by Space Engineers 1. I mean, that's one thing. But, like, when I was playing Starship Troopers with Wasted, like, I just kept thinking that the, the game needs, like, if you had a spectator mode, like, Wasted was trying to build a base and he was trying to, like, give orders to everybody. Yeah. I'm like... You, if you had a spectator mode you could just like it wouldn't even need to be a role in the game you could just have somebody spectating who's being the commander and is telling the different squads what to do and oh you got a crocodile coming after you right just wasted so many hours on that deer oh no no you seen me help ow why Got it. 
Stupid obsessive crocodiles. <laughs> oh, uh, is that a jaguar over there? It's a something. What the? Oh. I'm down. Not another prediction. Uh, do you want to skin these because you got bonuses? Yep. I'm on home where it's safe. That's what we were doing, but you got attacked. Like, we got attacked by a crocodile and it went after you, and then I tried to save you, and then things went poorly. I need to, I need to go back to carrying food on my person, because the food's been quite expensive stuff. I haven't been doing that. But I really should. It's literally five jars of carrots, some pickled avocado, fourteen jars of jam, uh, and there's a whole cupboard of preserved meats. Yeah, I, I'd been worried that I was going to use up stuff I shouldn't be using up. I just didn't know what was. Food, food to take with you we have a huge amount of it's the it's the food where's to eat the, here in the base the preserved meat uh the, the one of these wooden cupboards up here oh huh. i think i went and picked up a lot of these fellas and these ones i'll turn into oh no i probably want to I'm going to blame some of my hopelessness today on <laughs> being tired. Because, <laughs> yeah, I've been hopeless today. Yep, keep the bread dough in the meat fridge. That seems like a good idea. What could possibly go wrong? So that's how you make your bacon and cheese scrolls. Delicious meaty bread dough. I'm going to sleep. Okay. Uh, did the croc take out a power pole? I don't think so. I think they took out one of the poles from the old base. If the crocs are eating my power lines, I'm going to be very <laughs> angry. Oh, I'm totally out of ammo. I need, need to go run a mining trip. Uh, no, I need all those bones you've collected made into epoxy. That's what I need. Oh, I've started making crushed bones in the thing. It took out a, um... It took out a pole, but I don't think it was a power pole. Do-do-do-do-do. Capac's doing the power pole thing. He can, he can check it out when he get, goes back to do more. Just waiting for my lantern fuel. Be done. What did I do? Must you do these things? <laughs> what did I do? Okay, yeah, yeah, I've set all the bones to be made to crush bone to make epoxy, but you set them after a whole bunch of tree sap. We need the tree sap for the biofuel. We were out. If we want power, we need biofuel.
Yeah, it's been a long time since I died to uh, weather exposure. I was just, yeah, very unprepared. That was a, a rookie error. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go out in the morning. I'm this not morning. going to go out at night to see if the power lines have been taken down by crocodiles. It is morning. Is it? Yeah. Do we sleep already? Yes. You were the one who said for us to sleep. Get distracted by all this nonsense. Does that get me ammo munition wise? Popped up now is the angles. Is that for the. Oh, I've already done the other stuff. Okay. That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, I would agree. Icarus has one of the best, one of the better implementations of weather out there in games. It has an impact. It's got really good uh, sound design. It feels significant. And I mean, it's meant to be more dangerous than real life weather. And it factors into the gameplay in interesting ways without yeah. being overly punishing. Yeah, it doesn't feel onerous. That doesn't line up great. So. Yes, the the lightning feels more random. Because it's not a random timer until you get hit. Yeah, see, thatch buildings... The unfortunate thing about thatch buildings in Icarus is that they... I've never bothered with them. Because I know how weak they are. And I can jump straight to wood. Which is unfortunate. I just... I don't know how you fix a problem like that, though. Like, how do you make thatch worthwhile without making thatch good enough that you use it instead of other things. I don't I don't know that I don't know that there is even a good answer to that. Oh, actually I don't no, I don't want to do that. Because now I can't get rid of these bits. No! No, I can't get rid of that! Oh no! Uh oh, baby. Ow. Maybe if you had certain areas that were like less affected by the weather, 
which included most of the starting areas. Oh yeah, where you only get mild weather so that the thatch could be used and then you needed to you needed to use the thatch to get the wood stuff. Even if it's just like uh, a setup where say you need the thatch to build the crafting table that builds the tool that allows you to then um, make wood regularly. How am I going to get rid of this? What are you getting rid of? Um, I forgot about the terrain glitch over here. And I now have placed something that's in behind the glitched terrain. So I can't get rid of it. But it's not where I want it. Are you in the basement? No. I'm on the roof. The outdoor area. It means I may have to just build the stuff all the way across. Shoot it with a gun. Yeah, I was going to say you might be able to damage it. Nope. No, I think it's going to be like the underground um, bit of wood that I've got in the other part of the base. That bit I can't get rid of. Uh, this. Oh, I can't damage it on the corner there. That one's stuck there now, though. As well. Uh, it's probably better if I just build it all out. Dang it. Oh well. Oh well. Had worse things happen. Like being out of stone. Again. Let's go get some stone. But I actually had to go up there to do that. I forgot to do while I was up there. How far have you made it with the power line so far? Like, if you look at the map, do you reckon you're halfway there? Two thirds? Uh, which markers can you see? Um, I can see two blue markers. One's at the top of a cliff or bottom of a cliff, and one's at the other side. Uh, near the. Uh, all right, um, the power line is up to the top left corner of the N8 grid square. So you've got a full grid square to go to get to the rivers down in M9? Uh, pretty much, but I'm more than halfway there. Okay. That's pretty good. Shoot twice, measure nuts. That's what it is. Um, honestly, my day in Icarus is not going great. I mean, the building's going fine, but my, <laughs> my survival track record is abysmal. To do. Go up here to grab this mate. Need to deactivate the fire. Need to 
cure the meat. Oh, crocodile, go away. Yeah, it was one of these posts that the croc destroyed before. Come on, Plato. Plato, what is with you and my temporary fly screen that you desire to push through it in the way that always makes it come off? I installed like a magnetic fly screen automatic closing thing on my the... shed door so that Charlie wouldn't let all the bugs in. What's what the? Uh, Plato is embedded in a wall. And it's usually where Plato is. And when I got off Plato, I floated up to the roof because I was inside the terrain. Oh, that's happened before, hasn't it? Come on. No, you don't have a thing. It's happened before you got stuck in the wall. Getting off your... Getting off your animals. Oh. To disassemble some of this wall, I think. Do I have the components uh, for the vapor condenser? Probably. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I'm honestly more interested in getting this structure to a point where we can move into it. Because I feel like then it'll be much easier to complete it. Or, you know, complete this part of it. Wait, Plato's not stuck on the wall, he's stuck on the food trough. Yep, that sounds about right. Reinforced... Oh, they made it the... The reinforced railings, I think, are made at the... Crafting table? Force railing. Craft bench, yeah. It's facing the wrong way, but whatever. One more to put in there. Don't walk into the spikes, you stupid buffalo. <laughs> uh. Hey, now, Leoc. And I think I've done most of the building that needs stone for it. At least the non-decorative parts. The non-purely decorative parts, like all the po pillars that I'll put in around the place. Alright, let's go back and make ourselves some... Reinforced railings, because I think it'll be nice to have those. Oh, and interior railings for in here. Wait, he hasn't... Oh, we were stuck on the food thing, so he hasn't had any water. Um, can I give him some of my water? You can lead a buffalo through a wall, but you can't lead it... You can't make it drink. Is that what you're doing? Ah, I have watered the buffalo. Ah. Drink half my water. <laughs> what a jerk. Thirsty buffalo. Uh, yep, I've got the ammo.
Why have I got 53 buckshot shells? Uh, that's a good question. Why have you got 53 of I my don't buckshot know. shells? I don't even know when. I mean, I'll take them. I've put them in, um, I'll put them in your kitchen. I feel like I had some last week, but I thought I put them away. I guess maybe I didn't. I haven't noticed. I don't, I don't even know how. How did it happen? It's confusing. It's very confusing. I saw some randomly added to your inventory while you were building. Yeah. Something weird is going on there. Something real strange. <laughs> Much like fatherhood, no one knows how it happens. Uh-huh. Sure. It's puzzled mankind for centuries. I mean, it did puzzle mankind for centuries. It wasn't that long ago we figured it out. Oh, well, I mean... Mechanically, they figured it out pretty early. No, but there was, like, a time where humans didn't realise that... Though the birth of a child and the act were connected, there were some societies that never made that link. Well, they should have paid more attention. Yeah, oops. I think you might be right. I think it might be a bug connected to Capac's sometimes don't use a shell perk. Huh? Don't you have a perk so that you don't always use a shell when you fire? Um. Let's see. Because I've got the... I've got that. Uh, or it's chance, a bug connected to chance mine. Chance to craft double ammo... Down the bottom of firearms on the left. Uh, How many shots did you count? Five percent chance to not consume ammo when firing a projectile weapon. But how would you get that ammo? Well, that's why I'm wondering if there's a bug related to it. You think you're getting all my free ammo? Or I'm, or you're getting it and I'm getting it. Sure, I haven't been keeping a close enough eye on my ammo account to see if that ability's been triggering. Well, the bonus ammo when he grades? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. They need to go in there. So, Capac, we're going to need to go on a full on mining mission. I mean, you're going to need to go on a full on mining mission. No, I'm not doing it on my own this time. I did a huge amount of mining. Uh, to get us to this point. You're going to help. I am helping. Once we get this set up, we'll have an infinite source of iron. <laughs> A very slow one. But yes. Yeah, but still. have this just not smelted a lot oh uh, not really uh, iron and copper there was heaps uh, that's not heaps there's, there's some I wouldn't count it as heaps though
Hey, Wolfie. Give me your leather. Thank you. Hey, I just stumbled upon being a parent. I just found a five-year-old living in the same house as my partner. So weird. The stalk was a bit late on the delivery on that one. Must have been hired by Australia Post. <laughs> Thought Cap I could enjoy that one. Been stuck in a distribution warehouse for the past three weeks. Keep hitting uh -huh. the tracking number and it hasn't moved anywhere. <laughs> uh, electric light bulbs would only be once Campax finished his epic of epics trying to get power from the running water all the way back to our existing base. Which has still arguably been less of an epic than it would have been for us to move our entire base in the first place. What are you doing? Um, did you want me to come back to do mining or something? Um, we can probably do the mining next week, I reckon. Just do a big, big chunk of mining. Do a big mining mission. Could even go, like, off into the, into another area. Take all the animals. Oh. So, actually, if you wanted to, maybe a good place to start would be taming a few more buffalo so that we can take a few buffalo with us take a full train because we've got the materials yeah. we'd be able to build enough a uh, couple of cards or the saddles if you want to just saddle them rather than sticking a card on them the carts do seem to be heaps better than a saddle well, we can make uh, pack saddles. All oh, right, yeah. Okay, yeah, pack saddles. Make those. Why don't you do that to prep for next time? Okay. Finish chopping this tree. Uh, if I bring the buffalo home, do you still... Are you still able to train them so they don't cost as much to feed? Uh, no, I think I have to do the whole thing. Because you seem to be mostly upset when I named the previous one. When I named the mower or buffalo or whatever it was. I don't know how it works. It's better to be safe than sorry. The reason I was asking is I can go out and get you some buffalo. It's fine. I can find buffalo. Okay. Boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I was thinking we could take like a full buffalo train and we just go like mine out the desert or something. Oh. Uh, <coughs> oh that's Do you need not help? Good. There's a bear chasing me. Maybe? Oh, you know what's worse than a bear? Um, two bears? A bear that you don't know where it is. Yeah, that, that, I can... I can see that. So thanks to all this food, the buffalo stamina is now like a quarter of mine. Which seems a bit weird. Uh, quarter of yours in a good way or a bad way? In a bad way. Like it's maximum stamina. Oh right, because you've got eaten so well, your yes. stamina is huge and its stamina is tiny. Yep. Yeah. It is partially why we haven't been using, utilizing the animals as much as we could have. Oh, well, while I'm out here, I might as well pick this up. 
since you're complaining about how we don't have any materials. Um, we don't have much. Oh, I just pulled six stacks of copper ore out of the drill. Nice. Be good when you can do the same with iron. Uh, it will and it won't be. We'll still have to fight our way through the worms to get to it, which will be a bit annoying. Yeah, true. Not the worst, though. Got a bunch. I've got our remaining iron and copper being processed. this space this is exactly this sp spot up here is exactly what i imagined when i was planning out this build somewhere that would feel like a nice open courtyardy bit if we were building even bigger i probably would have done like a room like that and then extended out further this way and had another room which was our bedroom sort of thing uh yeah there'll be a greenhouse up here once we can build the glass but that'll be after capax uh established stable power for our base stable power like a big treadmill for the buffaloes <laughs> yeah okay let's see tier three Was it at the... It's a drying rack. Okay. Uh, I need some tree sap. Well, come back. I think I might wrap things up here on my end. Dokey. Get some platinum ingot. Hello, dear. Bunch of uh, do you have a bunch of leather somewhere? Um, yeah, I just brought it up to the top here because I need it for making stone stuff. Uh, do you want to so, meet me up on the top and we can wrap up there? Or should I just do it on my own? Um, well, I want to... Sure. All the way through the place, out onto the best deck ever. Man, this view. View is so good. I don't know. Hmm. Whatever. Hammer. <laughs> Hammer is fitting. So yeah. Uh, Capac and I will be back in Assertive Acquisitions tomorrow. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Hey Capac, can you walk back towards me? Um, and stand like a, f a frame section away from me? To the right. Yeah, something like that'll do. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so Capac and I'll be back for a set of acquisitions. Capac, what are you playing on your Thursday stream this week? Um, I think I think System Shock has happened or will have happened. So I'll probably do that and do alternate weeks of System Shock and Bolt Gun. Okay. Cool. Uh, thanks, Clone the Sheep, for the Prime Sub. And, yeah, we'll be back with other stuff. Uh, I should have a an extra video coming out on this channel at some point this week, I hope. Just have to wait and see. Um, 
I'm getting ahead on assertive acquisitions and fingers crossed that means I'll be able to get some single player stuff on my main channel out in the coming weeks and or the station is co-op that I've that we've been recording so there's all that and plenty more to come and, and we will see you then well I might continue with a bit of dark tide okay cool actually we will go raid a capac because he's going to continue streaming as he is sweet all right I'll see you all later time to raid Mr. Capac <laughs>